Your staff is glowing. I wonder what's making it do that. Let's go and find out. What? Where are we? We're somewhere different all of a sudden. Wait. Could this be the world of trials? The illusionary realm said to guide the ones chosen by the staff? I can't believe it really exists. Anyway, let's press forward. I think something might be waiting for us there. I thought this was just a big cave at first, but it feels like the inside of a tree. The space inside here is warping, so it's a dangerous place that takes on a different form every time we enter. But, if this really is the world of trials, then there should be something here that can help us. Let's proceed with caution.
amount of power. Oh, this is one tall tower. I wonder how high up it goes. But each floor in this tower contains a large room. Hmm, this entire place feels familiar to me. Maybe this world is what our world will look like. <sighs> Let's go. If we make our way to the top, we might be able to find something.
Play a little game. Vic Looks like you can now join a guild. Our enemies will keep getting stronger from this point on. So, let's join forces with as many allies as we can. Let's play a little game. Victory is ours. One night, an orphan begged me to teach her my dance. She was an odd girl, with cat ears, who apparently fell in love with my dance instantly. With her eyes sparkling in admiration, she kept telling me how cool I was. Hello, my lord. 
side. Flowers, oh, it's you. What can I do for you today? The Church of Longinus possesses something that's said to have been given to them by angels, the Staff of Tikkun. It's believed to be what would save the world when it's brought to the brink of ruin. I was raised to be a priestess who could manifest the Staff's full power. The training was rigorous, but I have no complaints. There's nothing more important than my duty to save the world, after all. Then, the day came when I met the one who'd inherit the staff. The Duke of Fran, the country of flowers and windmills. I was curious about him. Although a duke, he was full of kindness that made smiles flourish all around, just like a flower. There should have been nothing more important to me than the fate of the world. But as days went by, I found it harder and harder to think of anything else but him. Humanity faced a crisis that was lying in wait, deep underground. This world is protected by the Tree of Life and the angels who inhabit it. And from its roots grows the Tree of Death, where demons who wish for humanity's destruction live. Those very demons were seeking a way to return to our world. The staff of Tikkun turns despair into hope and bonds into power. Its purpose? To vanquish those demons and seal them away. It's said that only those who trust and love humanity from the bottoms of their hearts can handle its power. Master loved peace, so it was only natural that he was the one chosen to wield it. The day the demons break the seal was finally here. A giant crater rips the land wide open, and a lone demon emerges onto the surface. Standing in its way were warriors gathered from all around the world. Knights who inherited the power of dragons, witches who had mastered the forbidden arts, monarchs who were called humanity's strongest. Nations once at war joined hands in the face of this crisis. This was only possible because Master can turn our bonds into power. There's no enemy that we can't overcome, because we know full well the strength that humans possess when they trust each other. But we had forgotten. Demons are as powerful as angels, with strength that can oppose even God himself. It didn't take long for the combined forces of humanity's strongest to be completely annihilated by that lone demon. Protected by the staff, the only ones left standing were Master and me.